Hi, I'm Julian Grimm. It's getting kind of warm in London. You can say that I'm oily, but I prefer the word exotic. Today, we're going to talk about automation curves in Ableton Live and how easy it is to use them. So for that today, we're going to be using one of my band songs, Predator. It's on Spotify. You can listen to it right now. Did you go and listen? I'm going to know because I, I have my sources in your house. Is it your mom? Maybe. Anyways, Automation curves, right? Really easy in Ableton Live. There are so many ways you can do automation curves, but today I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ones. If you've been messing around in Ableton Live for a while, you know that when you're in arrangement view right here, all you have to do to see your automation is click this button right here. And you can also press A on your keyboard. And it's really easy to automate anything that you want. All you have to do is click on what you want to automate. So for example, if I wanna automate the mute, I click on the mute, speaker on shows up right here, and this is the speaker on and off line. If I click on the track volume, now track volume is here, this is the track volume. If I click on panning, this is the panning, as you can see. So it's really easy to access anything that you want when you're automating in Ableton Live. And just like in any DAW, you can put points anywhere that you want, you can drag them around, you can make selections, drag the line down like this. You can do whatever you want. You also have this really cool tool, the pencil tool, that you can just go nuts, draw whatever automation you want. And also, if you right click anywhere and you turn off the grid right here, you can go even more crazy with your pencil automation because you can draw whatever you want, really. You can also use any MIDI controller to do your automation, whatever you want. But the very cool thing they have in Ableton is the automation shape presets. They're on the menu. I don't know if you ever noticed, but if you are in the latest version of Ableton, you can select anywhere that you want to automate. And once you right click, you can insert a shape. So for example, I can insert this shape and it just makes it for me. It's a perfect shape, very clean, nice and easy. So that gives you so many creative chances to do crazy, crazy stuff with your automation and really fast because you can just go select, put another one, select here, put another one, duplicate that shape. You can do whatever you want. It's really cool. So today we're gonna use some of these shapes to do some creative effects in my song. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a ramp for the guitars. So as you can hear, everything is just coming in at the same time here in the song. But I want the guitars to kind of build up and just come in in the middle of the section. So one of the best things you can do to create a build up is use a filter. So we can click here on auto filter, just drag it to the guitars. And as you can see, the default is a low pass filter. So that means that only the lows are gonna pass this filter. So if I put the frequency down right here, you can now hear only the low frequencies are coming through. and I can open it to let more high frequencies come true. So this is one of the best tools for buildups. People use it in electronic music all the time. So I'm gonna show you how you can use the automation curves to do a quick buildup on your guitars. So all you have to do is select where you want the buildup to start and to end. So I want to start here and end here. Then I click this section and I choose this ramp curve right here. And now my guitars sound like this. Also, always remember to leave the filter open in the end of your buildup. So let's hear how that sounds with the song. So that sounds pretty cool, right? But I think we can do more crazy things with the drums and the bass to create more of an intro vibe. So let's go for the drums. The drums are all in one track in this case. So let's imagine you don't have drums in separate tracks. You just have one bus. And for some reason, that's all you have to work right now. The automation curves can help you to make those drums more dynamic without affecting the whole sound the whole time. So let me show you what I mean. This is how the drums sound right now. Nothing wrong with that, but I think it would be really cool for this intro to have a reverb just on the snares. How can I do this? So as you can see, I have already a drum verb 
channel right here. And for this drum verb, all I have is Ableton's reverb and also a saturator to make the reverb louder, more aggressive and more greedy as well. I'm gonna also add an EQ8 just to cut the lows because I don't want any of the lows of the drums to be affected by this reverb. So now let's use the automation curves to put reverb on the snares. How can we do this? Again, let's zoom in just a little bit and find where the snares are. So they're here, right? One snare, snare, snare. These are snares. First, I'm gonna click on the send here. That's the one that's sending my drums to the reverb. That activates that sends automation line. And now all I'm gonna do is select and create again the ramp automation curve. And as you can see, it's getting louder when it gets to the snare and then it drops down again. And then all I'm gonna do is press Command D or Control D in PCs and I'm gonna duplicate this automation curve all the way to the end of my section. And as you can see, always the automation is getting louder when the snare is hitting. So let's hear how that sounds. So that's pretty cool, right? Because you can hear the reverbs getting louder only when the snares are hitting. Let me show you before and after. And of course, you don't have to stick to the automation presets because you can always edit your automation, right? So here for the fill, I'm gonna drag this. So the automation curve happens throughout all of the fill and again for the end right here the same thing i might apply a curve here just to make it a, a bit smoother and this is how it sounds now you see it makes all of the drums a little bit more dynamic even though i'm not completely washing the sound out with reverb all of the time so next step i'm gonna do some filtering on the bass but i'm gonna do it differently than i did it with the guitar i'm gonna create some movement by automating the filter so this is how that's gonna work we're gonna again drag the auto filter to the bass and as you can see we have here again the low pass filter and i'm gonna use a low pass filter again because that's my favorite filter i like the low pass filter because i'm nasty and i like things that are low and down and near to the ground i don't even know what i'm talking about right now do you know what i'm talking about leave a comment below if you know what i'm talking about anyways low pass filter one thing that's different that i'm gonna do to this track is add resonance so it makes the filter more obvious so if i move the filter around like this you can really hear it. The resonance makes the filter way more obvious. And it's good when you want people to know there's a filter there and, and use it more as an effect than just a build up tool or something like that. And for the automation curve, let's try a different one this time. Let's try this one right here. Let's see what that does. And again, let's duplicate it to half of the section. <laughs> That sounds pretty cool, right? Let's hear it with the whole track. I kind of like it, you know, because the snare hits when the low pass filter on the bass is closed and it, it just it gives a cool little dynamic to the, the section that didn't exist before. If you listen to the original track, it just goes right in. And that could be another option if I wanted a different intro, for example, like even though it wasn't originally recorded to be like this, you can always get creative in the mixing process and do crazy things, especially with these automation shapes right here in Ableton. So just try different curves, go crazy, have some fun. As always, if you like what I do, Press all the things that help me in the world. And please leave comments below. Give me suggestions to next videos. I always read all the comments. And I see you guys next time. Thank you and bye. I don't care what happens, you got no place to go. Stranded on an island, you're never going home. Just taking what I am, maybe for a friend. Better watch your back, cause here I come again. No matter.